<laughs> Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Today on the show, we're going to be watching part four, part four of John Wick. Obviously starring the one and only Keanu Reeves in the lead role. I think he's good. I think he's great. I think pretty much everyone unanimous, unanimously loves him. The first movie I loved. Second movie was okay. Third movie, not so much. So I'm looking forward to this one because it is the finale. It's going to be massive. And of course, we get to say farewell to Lance Riddick, who recently passed away. Now, as far as I know, the villain in this movie is going to be Bill Skarsgård, who you might recognise from the recent movie Barbarian. And he also played... Pennywise the Dancing Clown in IT Chapter 1 and Chapter 2. Now, to my knowledge, I'm assuming that Ian McShane's going to be returning and, of course, the one and only Morpheus Lawrence Fishburne for this movie. If you want to watch this movie from start to finish along with me, plus absolutely bucket loads more of content that doesn't make it onto YouTube, you can do so by joining our Patreon with the link down in the description. With that being said, we're going to jump straight into the movie now. John Wick, Part 4. Let's do this. So I take it from what I can remember, he's still got like people after him, innit? Because everyone was after him in the last movie, weren't they? Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Oh no, three and John Wick chasing them. <laughs> it's not like him to miss, is it? One more to go. Well done, all. See, you had to have a black horse, didn't he? So who's this guy? None of us can escape who we are, and no one escapes the table. So he's stuck. He's trapped. You've come a very long way, but nothing here. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Just the lot, take them all out. There he is, Mr. Lance Reddick. Rest in peace, sir. The manager, please. Starship Troopers guy, Sergeant. You get me? This must be a mistake. There is no mistake. By order of the Marquis, Vincent Bassett de Grammont. So that's because of John Wick, I take it. This will not be pleasant. Such is life, sir. I like, I've always, one thing I can give props to with these movies, again, cin cinematography and lighting in these films are immaculate. It's got that vibe of the first Blade Runner movie, the way Ridley Scott filmed that. Look at the lighting and everything. It's just beautiful. I want to have consequences. And second chances. That's where we differ. Is that supposed to be like his time's running out, his life? Take your time, mate. I shot him. He lives. This guy's an idiot. Glass is merely an echo of my remaining patience. Oh, damn. Oh, is that the hotel? Oh, the hotel's gone. Wow, they just literally blew it up. You no longer need the services of a concierge. I didn't expect that. Oh my goodness. Rest in peace, Lance Reddick, anyway. Rest in peace, sir. Oh my god, look who it is. I forgot he was in it. Of course. The one and only Donnie Yen. I'm retired. Finished. Done. <laughs> That's not for you to decide. Oh, I don't like Bill Skarsgård in this. He's, he's nasty, mate. Game close. Too close. You put her in danger. Was that is a, his daughter or something? A former associate, I believe. Old friends. We give you a name, you give us a life. Or we take one. So in other words, you've got to take out John Wick or we'll take your daughter. I assume you have a notion of where he might be? John Wick has few friends remaining in the world. Very, very good. One thing as well I will say is the costumes are incredible. Um, the stuff Bill Skarsgård is wearing, like that jacket, was just immaculate. How can I help? Yeah, I'm looking for a room. Is this another assassin, I take it? 
Yeah, I take it he's another assassin then. Lovely dog. Not too bad. Not bad at all. It's just coincidence that he's there, so he knew he was there then. There is a dog in my lobby. <sighs> yeah, it's great to see him in this as well, Mr. Sonada. I love him. How are our guests? Some of our Gold Club members are anxious. Perhaps we should get you an emotional support animal. <laughs> Don't cross the line, young lady. Please tell my daughter that I look forward to our dinner. <laughs> he is a big softy, see? I love him, man. Wonderful actor. Look at the lighting, everything about it, it just looks amazing. Killing the elder was a mistake, my friend. My daughter fears we are next. Oh, he ain't gonna be happy about that. Winston? Alive. But they executed his concierge. He is not gonna be happy about that. Have you given any thought to where this ends? The table will never stop. It ends in death. Friendship means little when it's convenient. There's a true friend then. I'd like to think they're like that in real life. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> uh oh. So it's going to go down then. Oh dear. Welcome to the Osaka Continental. How can I help? The manager. Okay. I'm going to kill them all. No one. Not even you can kill everyone. I think he knows his time is limited, so he's going to do as much damage as possible, I think. Father, the high table. What is he doing here? Mr. Wick is our guest. Oh, she didn't know. I thought she knew. Oh, she's afraid, understandably. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear. This is going to get sick, isn't it? I hope you don't portray him. I don't think he will. Don't repeat the mistake that fool in New York made. Wise man, listen. So which one will you be? Oh dear. So he's with him. Oh dear. He ain't got a choice though. They've got his daughter, right? Old friend. So good of you to visit after all these years. Yeah. Your daughter. He knew straight away. Yeah. Alive. And your daughter, Akila? Well, I'm glad. They're kind of both in a predicament, aren't they? Enough! This hotel has been deconsecrated. Step aside. Oh, this guy's got to get it. Don't like him either. <laughs> oh, Afro didn't last very long, did he? Has he got padding or something in his coat? He must have. Bit of a G, this guy, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's got a bulletproof coat like um, Mr. Wick. Oh. Arrows to the chest. Get out. Oh, crap, there's a lot more of them. Oh, my God, they were well prepared. Oh, dear. Secure the hotel. Fine, Wick. It's so perfectly filmed. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, she's a badass as well. Oh my god! That was an incredible shot. Straight to the knee, arrow to the knee. They're just going to keep coming, aren't they? It's my guy sitting in somewhere just eating noodles. <laughs> I am one with the force. The force is with me. He's crazy, man. <laughs> I've always loved the way he moves, Donnie Yen. Is this, what's this, like sound sensors or something, or bombs? He's just something else. Go on, mate. <laughs> Do you like the old... Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> yeah. 
noticing he's not killing people. She's brutal with a knife. My God. She's nuts. Yeah, she was perfectly cast, this girl. She's crazy. Oh, my God. Unlucky, big man. Oh, dear. Daddy to the rescue. I love this place, this location. The samurai swords, the costumes, just... <laughs> Flipping heck. <laughs> Go on, Mr. Wick. Everything ends with a headshot, just to be sure. <laughs> oh, in the nuts as well. Oh, my God. Nunchuck her to the head, kicked in the nuts, then a headshot. Oh. <laughs> and he hasn't even met up with Donnie Yen yet. Speak of the devil, and he shall appear. They gave you my name. Yeah. It's kind of a circumstance of having no choice, isn't it, really? I don't want none of them to get executed. <laughs> they work well together, don't they? You took a deal. Same as you, John. Family. Yeah, see? He kind of knows, yeah. He's out of bullets. You dead, John? Oh, dear. Standoff. It's kind of like they none of them want to do it, but they've got no choice. Ooh. John. Kane. Wait, what? So who's he after? I'm confused. Beautiful wink. I can't get enough of these locations. It's so beautiful, man. Oh, crap. The guy with the dog. Yeah, what's his deal, man? How much? Not enough. So he's a tracker, not a... Okay. It's one culture I envy the most of all on planet Earth. Everything about this, look at it. Look how beautiful this is. <sighs> Trust my headphones to die at a time like that. He can't beat him, can he? Come on. I don't want to do this. Just walk away then, bro. Oh, one hit. Even the blind man knows you've lost. Typical Donnie Yen with a, a bit of beauty in his delivery. I need eyes to see the right path. Pride, just, just let it go. <laughs> oh. So, live. The sad thing is he doesn't even want to do it. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah. When the time is right, yeah. See, he doesn't even want to do it, but brilliant. I love that scene. And because of you, her father's gone. So her story's going to go somewhere else then. Maybe they'll do a film or a series or something. Unless it's resolved in this movie. This campaign is not to kill John Wick. It is to kill the idea 
of John Wick. I think whoever's above him is going to end up turning on him. Bloodshed in Osaka was not necessary. I agree, it wasn't. You, come with me. It's a bit rude, isn't it? I will ask only once. Now, were you able to locate him? Ah, oh, okay. Pain, I'll tell you. How much? 25 million. Oh, you're gonna get too brave here, mate. Don't push it. I like you. <laughs> 20 million. Like me some more. 23. Yeah, he's getting too brave. Oh my god. You're getting too brave, my friend. You can pull the knife out or you can pull your hand out. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is nasty, bro. Oh, that's disgusting. His hand is stuffed. His hand is effed, bruv. How is he okay? I would have passed out after that man. Challenge him to single combat. Duels are a myth. They're a cold, hard fact. He's got really white teeth, hasn't he, Ian McShane? Win or lose. What you say you want. A way out. So 1v1. Okay. I don't sit at the table. Your family does. Get them to issue the challenge and then offer you up as proxy. Keanu Reeves has to be part of a family. Because he's excommunicado, he don't have a family. So he needs to fix it so he belongs to a family, then they can issue a challenge to the high table. I think that's right. I think my guy with a dog is going to end up being a good guy because he got his ad mash up. Well, that looks very suspicious, the type of people that are in there. Holy crap! Okay. That must have hurt. The deal was for your service. It's now a life for a life. He's an absolute prick, isn't he? Asshole. Exactly. Nymphadora. Harry Potter. Bolshenit Voidom, Jonathan Vick. Katya. After you put the bullet in the elder's head, the Marquis had one put in Piotr's. Ah. Uh. How the hell are you going to help us? Join the smart key. She's interested. She's interested. So he's got to join their family. When he's dead, I will mend your ticket. Bring proof of death. He's got to take out the guy who executed her daddy. Looks like a nice fella. I am Klaus. I am Klaus. Klaus seems like a nice fella. Is he a Jew? Like, do you know what I mean? Is he a Jew like these nuts? It's a good one, wasn't it? That's Scott Adkin. The martial arts guy, isn't it? Great prosthetics. By this gesture, and I look forward to our continuing partnership. I am Klaus. <laughs> Is that all he says? You were expecting me. Not me. John? Who? Oh no. You knew I'd be here. I suspected it. Family. Family. I sense tension here. I didn't kill Koji. You did, John. That's true. Oh crap, he's there as well. Exciting, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ah. want to kill him? You want to kill him? I want to kill him. Everyone wants to kill him. Zidina decides who lives. Alright. That is such an iconic Donnie Yen move. The look up. That's such a, a trademark move of his. I don't gamble. Let's see. <laughs> four nines. And a four. Most impressive. How the fuck does he know that? Let me guess. Five of kind? Yeah. 
So it's them three against all of them. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> this is as good as the first one, I think. Look how fucking cool it looks again. Looks like an insane club, don't it? I love how smooth old uh, Mr. Wick is. <laughs> How would you get up from that? How would you get up from that? You wouldn't, would you? Uh-oh, he's got some more guys coming in. Let it rain, baby. Have they got axes? Straight in the head. Oh my God. Oh my God. He loves a headshot, doesn't he? Do you know it reminds me of a little bit? Is it Virgil in the uh, Devil May Cry games? Is it Virgil? <laughs> My God. The prosthetics for the suit are amazing, aren't they? Flipping heck. Yeah, people just dancing around. Don't worry about it. Is he really going to get up still? Oh, did he just axe him in the back of the leg? I don't think he's going to get up from that one. Definitely not. <laughs> oh, he's got to take back some evidence, the teeth. So now that he's hopefully gonna have a family does that mean he can challenge that guy i think that's what it means right oh my god are they really gonna oh oh i would pass out after that bro yeah i would need some more i'd need some more Ah, so he's going to go in and issue the challenge now. Let's see how, how brave he is now. That's why he's got that like, swagger in his step. He's a bit like, wee. Yeah, that's why. That's funny. Oh, he's going to enjoy this conversation then, isn't he? Victoria Fiducii. The unconditional release of any and all obligations to the table. So he's asking for his freedom if he wins the fight, which is fair enough. You could be remembered as the man who brought John Wick into the light. He's afraid of him, of course. See? Let's see how big your nuts are, bro. He enjoyed that chat big time, Ian McShane. Now I'm done. I think I'll miss you when you're gone. Shame I can't say the same. <laughs> Paris! It ain't been up the Eiffel Tower. I went up to that second bit and then I got scared and I didn't go up any further. And it is the killing that gives you purpose. A man without purpose is nothing. He's so going to get it. Should Mr. Wick be victorious, he will be free of any and all obligation to the high table. So it's on, baby. Should the Marquis Vincent Bisset de Grammont be victorious? John Wick will be dead. So he gives it all, the, the, all of that, but he is afraid. Always have an angle, don't you? Doesn't everyone? <laughs> There's something I need to do first. Sooner rather than later. Yeah, get a suit, get guns, get ready. You kill him and you and your daughter will be free. If you don't, she will have to face the consequences. This guy's a real piece of work, isn't he? My daughter's not. It was between you and her. You're going to die. <laughs> I missed you, John. <laughs> I like that scene as well. That was another really good scene. I think they should just go at the guy, but then he's going to lose his daughter. Do you know what I mean? He's got no choice. 
Ah, oh, the homeless is going to see Lawrence Fishburne to get a suit. Bit like The Matrix, isn't it? Do you remember that scene? Is it part three where he goes in the train and gets lost? <laughs> Bonjour, Monsieur Wick. <laughs> Appropriate for all formal occasions. Weddings, funerals, high table duels. Nice. I have a feeling Mr. Wick will never make it to the duel by sunrise. Exactly. I knew he would do something. Understood, sir. Yeah, exactly. So basically, go out and attack him, execute him before it happens. He's a cheat. We're putting the call out to deliver your hardest beat to this man in black. See that in the background, Moulin Rouge. Wicked. 21 round capacity magazine with a built in compensator for virtually no muzzle flip. Fiber optic front sight. That's amazing. I don't know what I don't know what any of that means, but it sounds good. Yeah. He ain't gonna get very far without it kicking off. I was torn about what to put on his gravestone. Long live the king. Modest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it. Friend, that's what he was above all else. I like that. Beautiful. And very fitting for Lance. Rest in peace, sir. Rest in peace. Sunrise is a 603. Jonathan. Loving husband. Wow. So he's basically telling him that he's going to die. John, loving husband. Wow. Wow. We have a sighting. Our man in black has been spotted. In yeah, so everyone's going to attack him on the way there. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. Straight into it, no messing around. And what a beautiful car that was. Oh my God. You can hear all the bones breaking. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I think he's gone. <laughs> That must have hurt. And now it's rolling to the Arc de Triomphe. Let's see who picks it up. Arc de Triomphe, I've been there a couple of times. That car's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> He's drifting with one hand and shooting with the other. He's something else, bruv. I can't get my head around how much... The work Keanu puts into it is ridiculous. I want this guy to get done so bad, I hate him. Oh my god! I've never ever seen a movie like this with so much craziness. Looks like a Batman location. <laughs> Behind you, mate. Oh, oh my God, the dog is there. What a shot that was. That was amazing. Another great location though. Derelict house or building. Yeah, look, he's starting to panic now. See, chicken. Oh, he's a bit of a bad boy as well, isn't he? Oh, wow. He is a bit kick-ass. Okay. One man and his dog. So he's, he's, so he's going after Wick now. Right, okay. It was the money. Right, right, right. Oh, these are the guys with them explosive rounds. Oh, oh my God. What is this just... Them bullets are madness. No way, a bird's eye view. 
This is like an arcade game, isn't it? Hotline Miami, I think it was called. Oh my God. <laughs> Them bullets are insane. This has to win an award for cinematography. It must do, it must do. I've never seen anything like this in a film. <laughs> I just can't get my head around. It's like one big thing after another. You had Arc de Triomphe, now you've got this. You haven't even got to the main fight. It's crazy. Oh, this piece of crap's here. I kind of don't want either one of them to, you know. You can't let the dog get hurt. Yeah, see, he can't let the dog get hurt. He should have killed you, mate. You want to count your blessings, bro. Oh my God. He just jumped out the third floor. Sorry, that would have broke your shoulder, collarbone, neck, everything. But it's John Wick. It's nothing to him. Brush yourself off, mate. Get up, it's a matter we are. This is better than the second and third one, I think. <laughs> oh look, 500 stairs, what could go wrong? You've got 10 minutes or just under 10 minutes. <laughs> Bro, I'd, I'd be done by running up them stairs. Like, so why don't they question, like, why is there everyone attacking him now? It's, it's cheating. Like, he should be, you know what I mean? It's nearly there, though. Two more flights. Come on. I do love a good knife. <laughs> oh, that was great. You just went, fuck it, throw the pistol. That's cheating. It's like playing Donkey Kong, innit? You get to the very, very top and then you get knocked all the way back down to the bottom. Snakes and ladders. He's been through all of these fights and comes in at the end, this guy. What an absolute... Up you get, buddy. Come on. John? John? Kane? <laughs> I need you to get to the top of those stairs, John. Yeah, because I guess... Does that mean because he knows he'll never be free? Is that what that is? Maybe. Twelve or nine. Nine! <laughs> oh, this is sick. <laughs> yeah, boy. I just don't know what to say. I can't wait till this absolute fool gets it. Oh, I love you, Donnie Yen. Oh, he's going to save him because he saved his dog. See? Do the right thing, man. Do the right thing. Ciao, ciao, Mr. Lee. Yeah, ciao. I can hit you, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Mierda. Yeah, damn right. Go on, dog. <laughs> what an insanely bonkers, bonkers movie. And the mad thing is, it's like I say, the high table and all this have kind of not, they've allowed this guy to get away with all of this. So that's one last sunrise for Mr. Wick. Where all the bullets dropping at? No way, is he giving the dog beer? Oh. They have to face each other. I see. Oh, that guy's such a coward, man. He won't even do it himself. So really is going to end like a Western. Remember your daughter. Fuck off. You're damn right. 
It's a nice day to join the afterlife. A day like that. Last words, Winston. Just have fun out there. <laughs> Are you ready, Mr. King? I don't want none of them to die. I like them both. Fire! They both got hit. They both got hit. 20 paces. They both shot each other in the arm. They, it's because they don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Fire! Shoulder. Is that his hip? Yep. Ten paces. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. He's hurt pretty bad, hasn't he? He can't take another one. This is it. Just kill him. Yeah, see? He doesn't want to do it. He's not going to do it because he's a good guy. He didn't fire, did he? He accepted his fate. I claim the coup de grace. Your weapon. Give it to me. He wants to be the one. Okay, so they're free, so he's going to go and kill. But he's, he's still got his bullet. I swear he's, he didn't fire, did he? He didn't shoot. Consequences. Oh, what my God. <laughs> Couldn't have happened to a nicer bloke, but I think Wick is done. Your obligation to the table is satisfied, John Wick. So he can die a free man. Jonathan, will he take me home? Of course. Oh, sugar. Like I said, it's a beautiful morning to pass over, wasn't it? Sleep, mate. Sleep. See, back... Oh, God, don't pull at the art strings, mate. See, he's going to his wife. I knew it, man. I think that's the perfect finale to a, a franchise. That was just perfect finale. Loving husband. John Wick, buried next to his wife. Beautiful. Nothing matters without that, does it? Let's get to our review for John Wick part four. You've got to start with the casting. It was absolutely perfect for a finale. I thought Bill Skarsgård as the villain was really, really impressive. I hated him. I really hated him. He just didn't have any nice qualities about him as a character. And at the end, he was a chicken, big ego, arrogant and he got what was coming to him. Ian McShane, absolutely fantastic performance. I think you always know what you're going to get with him anyway. Lawrence Fishburne as well, another character that I really love in these movies. I think he's just great. It's just Lawrence Fishburne, isn't it? Brilliant. And of course you've got to say for a finale for Keanu Reeves as John Wick, if that is to be his finale, which I'm guessing it is, then I thought it was perfect. I think that's a perfect send off for the character. I wouldn't say it's better than the first one, but I'd say it's pretty damn close. And I think a few people will say this is the best one. Also loved the suits, the costumes, the locations, cinematography, absolutely outstanding. I cannot praise it enough. Everything about it looks beautiful. It's like every single camera angle was just done to perfection. Like that sequence with the camera angle above the bird's eye. The bird's eye view was just incredible. And it reminded me a lot of old arcade games that I would use to play. Alien Breed was one of them, which was the bird's eye view, walking through the rooms and that Hotline Miami, which come out on the PlayStation. It reminds me of those kinds of things. And I've never seen an action film that films a sequence just like that. Now for the things that I wasn't too keen on in the movie. Number one, I think it was a bit crazy at the end where the guy didn't stick to the rules and everyone was after John Wick and the high table or whatever just let it happen. Like they let him cheat and it's like, and then at the end they sit down at the table, right, now you're gonna have a duel. And you're like, the guy's just cheated. So this, I don't, there's no code and honor when they make out that there is code and honor. Secondly, I don't like Scott Atkin. Atkin, Atkin, Atkins, who played the big Russian guy with the gold teeth, but I thought he was good in this, but I just don't particularly like him in movies. Just not a fan of him, to be honest with you. In all honesty, that's it. That's me just nitpicking things that I didn't like. There weren't really many, anything that stood out to me, like I saw a thumb and goes, oh, I didn't like that. My highlight of the movie, other than Mr. John Wick, had to be Donnie Yen. I thought his performance was brilliant. I just, I think it gave it a, an element of 
feeling and emotion I think it needed. I think it just gave it that little push, you know, it gave it that little bit of attachment with the family involved, their friends and everything else. I just thought it gave it that little bit of something special in this particular edition. In terms of the rating in the John Wick series, I'd say this is an eight out of 10. Action film, solid eight out of 10. I'd definitely watch it again. I would definitely watch it again because it's just a good entertaining movie. If you like action movies, it reminds me of the action movies of old. And I did say during the review that, uh, during the, the reaction, that the only person I know that's like this, that's still around, I suppose you could say Stallone that does his bits in Invincibles or whatever they're called, is Tom Cruise is the only one of that era that's left around that's still making action movies, Top Gun, stuff like that. Keanu Reeves is still that guy. And I mean, the guy's in his 50s and still moves like that. It's so impressive. So yeah, eight out of 10. It might even push its way to first place one day as the best John Wick movie, but I still have a really soft spot for part one because the thing with his dog, you know what I mean? But yeah, in general, highly recommend this. If you're into action movies, you will love this film. It really is incredible so thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen and as always if you'd like to watch this or any of the movies that we show on the channel you can watch along do the ramon's watch party on patreon where i put them up from start to finish and we can just watch the movies together and just go yeah you'll need your own copy of course but we watch it from start to finish so yeah thank you so much for watching ladies and gentlemen and make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the like button because it does help this channel get promoted to other people and that's what we need peace and love my name's ramon this is hit on miss tv yeah you can watch more movies. There's one up here in the video. You can watch that one. Or, you can see my face now. You can watch this one here. I'm on the floor for no reason. Benefit of doing a video. This video here, this one, yeah? Thanks for watching. Bye.